Hello, it's me. It's Ann. Yep, I'm back. Anyway, I've been working on something that I completely foobarred on part of. I saw these two ladies in two, two different videos who were doing a challenge based on doing three looks from one palette. We already have that, but they have to go through their whole collection, if I am remembering it correctly. Okay. Now, I, being me, and being tired at the time, did not write down who they were, and I am still not entirely certain that I got the premise correct. I'm not sure of doing your whole collection, three looks each palette. Anyway, this is actually look three. I'll show you a better picture when we get to the end. Yeah, I know. I'm doing the black and white thing. Anyway, this is a um, palette that I picked up off of AliExpress. No, it is not beauty glazed. Um, it's called Mezzi Makeup. M-E-Z-Z-E -Z -Z -E, Makeup. And this palette is called Adventurer. And it's got a little puppy on the front. Okay. Now, this is one of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pan palettes. So I pretty much went through and picked up groups as a quad. And I've got the other two looks, you know, that'll be pulled into the video. But I figured, you know, what the heck, let's start with the last one because then I can do all the yakities. If anyone knows what challenge I am talking about, please, please let me know. I want to give the credit where it belongs and I want to know if I'm doing this right. Anyway, I started off with palettes that I haven't really done anything with. They're new additions. So I figured, what the heck, I'd just start there. Um, Adventurer, I think I'd actually done something small with, or I used at least one of the colors to, to add to something else. I like it. It's a little weird. I don't like it lots, but I like it. Anyway, oh, I have to tell you, I am so proud of my little tiny town. This is a hardcore red area, okay? Okay. We had a Black Lives Matter march today. Now, I got to tell you, there was only about 30 people, but... We're talking about a town that's probably 10,000 people at the max. And that's in the quote-unquote city limits and the surrounding communities. So that's not that bad considering how much this is conservative country. If I had known they were doing this, I'd have been out there with my walker. As it is, I was on my way to the drugstore, to the drive-up window, so I didn't have to go in. Yes, I had my mask with me. Um, the marchers all had their masks, and they were carrying all kinds of Black Lives Matter and Honk for Justice 
and all sorts of other things that were all part of that type of theme. Now, I want to remind you, this is Oregon, and Portland, Oregon is a mess, or was a mess, with those, those stormtroopers that got sent by the feds. And I didn't see anybody giving anybody any hassle in this little town, and I would have thought maybe they would. So far, so good, anyway. As long, I haven't heard anything different on news or anything. But, you know, it's like the honk for justice. I just about blew my horn out as I was sitting for a light. Um, I was, I literally, I was so proud of the citizens in this little bitty burg that got up on their hind legs and did something. It wonderful. I hope they do more. We need more. <sighs> now, I have added some information to the description box. With the ending of the extended benefits for unemployment and with the ending of the moratorium for evictions and such, there are going to be more people losing not only their home and may end up homeless, but that also in a lot of places removes their right to vote because then they don't have a working address. I found out that there is a nonprofit that is working with people who have lost their home base and still want to vote. Now, I use, yes, I used a bit.ly to shorten the URL because this particular page in this um, voter thing is a pain in a backside to find. And then the URL is miles long. So in case you are sitting with your phone and you don't have time to try to crawl through this massive website to go look for the page, it's down there, right below the regular registry that you can do online to vote, period. It's down there. It's to help people who are homeless or, you know, in a shelter or whatever, so that you're still able to vote. At least, I hope, they're able to get as many of you in as possible. Whether or not you're watching this on your phone, or if a friend of yours normally watches this kind of stuff, anybody else who's an influencer who sees this, please pick up that, that, that link and put it in your own stuff. We need to make sure as many people as possible are able to exercise their right to vote. Look, I don't care which side of the line you want to it's your right to vote. It makes a difference. So if you've ended up on the wrong side of the financial crisis we're in because of COVID, there are ways to improve at least some of them. If you want to vote and you've got... <clears throat> No permanent address currently. Get, get on that web page and see if they can help you out. It's a shot. If people that are watching this who know somebody who's been evicted and you know they were determined to vote, there's your information to help them. There. 
go get it. Um, anyway, let me go put this face on for you in color. Okay? Okay.
Alrighty, here's your look. Yeah, this was done with the palest end of the palette. What do you think? No, really, what do you think? I dare you. Say something in the comments. You like it, you love it. Doesn't matter. Just start a conversation. Anyway. I'm going to go away now. You go check out all the info that is down in my description box. There is an international listing for social action listings. And yes, it's got countries listed in a list. And it will bring up all the stuff in your country that's being done for social action. Go do it. It's worth it. It is. It, just, it really is. The voter registration, standard voter registration, through the government, you can register online. It's down there. The page for people who have lost their permanent address due to eviction or whatever, there's a help page. It's down there. Go get it. In the meantime, try and stay safe. Wear your mask. Try and be peaceful as much as possible. Yeah, I know. Some people get right up in your face, right up under your nose. Don't throw the first punch. If possible, walk away from the fight. As much as it pains me, I have to say I don't trust cops anymore. That used to be something that I took for granted a lot and now I have to rethink that and I have to rethink a lot of things try and stay safe wear your mask try and stay peaceful try and walk away from a fight I do love you guys. All of you. Even the ones I have no idea who you are. Every one of you. Every human being on the other side of this camera. Be good. <laughs>